Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're doing a very informal packing video because <laughs> I just don't have the energy, time, or the willingness to sit here in my hot room without the AC on to work through this. <laughs> I'm already hot standing here. So I'm gonna show you really quick how we are packing to head out of town. We are doing a road trip down to my parents' house. <sighs> See, now I need to say just my father's house. It will always be my parents' house. It will always be grandma's house, but now it's grandpa's house. My mom just passed away a month ago. This is our second time going back home since she passed away, and so it will be a little bit difficult. But all of that aside, we pack differently when we go in the car, and this year I'm packing even more differently than like I've ever done in the past because I'm just trying to pack in less containers, if that makes sense. We get really kind of bogged down with luggage inside our car and that just kind of creates a little bit of tension and stress and you can't move things around. I'm trying to limit what I have in the car and I'll kind of explain that as I show you how I've packed our two main bags and then the girls have packed their two carry-on bags. They just each, two girls take one suitcase at a time and that fits easily up in our luggage rack, up on the top of our car. So they're, they're easy, I can show you theirs, but it's super easy how they pack. But let me show you how I am packing and Jason is packing and how it's just a little bit different this year and I have new packing cubes. And if you are a new follower or an old follower, packing cubes are my thing. So let me show you the new ones that I got and the old ones that I have and show you the difference between the two. These are the two bags that I have for Jason and I to pack with. It is a lot of stuff, but we don't pack as light when we go to Utah, because we can get anything we need when we're there, but trying to limit the excess stuff that we have to buy when we go. So this is going to be Jason's bag, and this is going to be my bag, and let me just kind of walk you through how we have done things in the past. These are the packing cubes that we had before. I have a whole set of these. This is the largest packing cube that we have in the set and it fits quite a bit. It's actually pretty empty compared to what we've gotten in it before. He has a pair of shorts and uh, dress pants and some church clothes, and that's kind of all that he has in this big packing cube. So it's kind of got excess space. Um, he doesn't need to fill it up anymore, but it also leads to why I wanted to get a different kind of packing cube. This one is great and it has served us well and we still will use these, but let me show you the new kind that I just got. So I've got two different brands because I kind of picked these ones up at REI and then I realized I could actually get these ones from Amazon in time. They came in late last night. So let me show you the difference between these two versus the original kind that we had. This one just zips up after you fill it up, then it's done. And these guys have two zippers. So let me show you how this works. All right, so the way these packing cubes work is that you fold them all to fit the size of the actual cube when you have it all opened up like that. So you can see it has, you know, a little bit of depth. Um, I'm kind of hoping to find some that are a little bit deeper. Then this piece right here actually fits underneath all of them and it becomes like a little skeleton shell to the packing cube. But you can take it out and actually use it to help fold your shirts to make sure that you're using the right size of fold. So then, what I like to do is then flip it over, put it in the packing cube, and then I just take the little shell and slide it right out. And then it's the perfect size for the packing cube. Everything fits nice and snug, right? Then what you do is you stick this underneath everything. I actually tried it once, putting it on top, and it doesn't work as well. So then you just slide it in on the bottom. These are just t-shirts in here and one dress shirt for Jason. See how easy it just slides right underneath there. And then you close it with the first zipper. Okay. And you wanna make sure with these guys that there is some give. You don't wanna stuff it full at this first stage. You turn it around to the second zipper. Now, let me try and get you up close here. You see this second zipper? You wanna stick your finger underneath the zipper so that it doesn't catch the nylon right there. Then, you pull this zipper all the way around the entire cube. So you don't wanna get caught on the nylon. Sometimes you kinda of have to tug on it. Yeah. 
and there you have it. It's packed nice and tight. It compresses it so that you can fit more in your suitcase. Isn't that so cool? So this is the medium size in the Eagle Creek brand and I have two of these ones. And then this is the large in this brand called Tripped. You can kind of see they're basically the same size. But this one kind of is a little bit chunkier. It's, it's wider than this one over here. But it was the same concept. I kind of wanted to try different brands and see which one I liked the most. And actually, it's not wise to open up the regular zipper first. Let me show you what the one feature of this brand versus this one that I didn't like as much. Okay, so for this one, the zipper, this is the main zipper that you open. You can kind of see it doesn't open all the way around. Like it goes from halfway up to about three fourths of the way down on the other side. So it's like this just has to fold open and you have to like tuck the clothes down inside it. And I did not like to pack the shirts that way. Whereas this one, it see how it opens almost all the way around. The zipper is there and it goes all the way over to here. It folds open all the way and then you just set your clothes inside. And I prefer that over this little kind of pocket entry on this one, but they both do the compression. You can see I have the compression zipper zipped up on this one as well, and it keeps it nice and tight. There's the end of the compression side, but it does keep it nice and tight still. All right, so you can see in my bag right here, I've got two of these packing cubes. One has my t-shirts, and then the other one has my swim shirts, and then I actually have one more packing cube in the bottom I'll show you. And then here in my sides, I have a few extra pieces of underwear um, that I did not have room for in the packing cubes, which is why I wanna get the bigger size, because I like all the things to be together. I like all my shirts to be in one thing. I like all my swimwear to be in another. I like my shorts to all be in one. This is my makeup pouch. You wanna see my makeup pouch? Let's do that next. But let me show you what's underneath here really quick. So you can see I have one more packing cube right here. So here is the small on this brand, the Tripped brand. You can see it's not very big at all. So I just put my underwear and socks in this one and I overstuffed it. So I don't wanna like try and do the zipper on this one because I, I just don't wanna break it. Cause I, you don't wanna put too much in them because it only really can hold a certain amount. And I didn't need to compress this one anymore cause it fits in here nice and snug. Then I have a first aid kit. There's just too many chances of someone getting hurt. And then I've got all of our sunscreen and lotion and sprays and all that kind of stuff just here in the beach and sunglasses. See sunglasses right there. This is just for the beach and the pool and just keep it all there. And I can just pull it out and put it right into my beach bag, which here's my beach bag. And I've got my GoPro in there. And then if you are new to our Hawaii videos, I'll link those below. But this last time we went to Hawaii, we, everyone got a cinch bag with a towel that coordinates with the color. And the towels that I got are from Dock and Bay and they're quick dry towels. These towels are so amazing, you guys. They're so nice. Look how small they fold up. This is my hand. They fold up so tight. Then everyone has a coordinating cinch bag. Then everyone is in charge of their own swim bag when we go to the pool or the lake. You guys, I couldn't handle it without the AC on. You're just gonna have to deal with the noise. I was literally dripping sweat. And I wouldn't normally worry about that, but I'm wearing makeup. <laughs> and it needs to last all day. I'll take it off, I think, when I get in the car to leave tonight. But, uh, I'm like, look at my hair. It's like getting wet from the sweat on my head. Okay, let's go back to the video. Here, I'm just, you're gonna have to deal with that. Hopefully you can hear me. So now I, I forgot where I left off, but everyone gets a packing cube. Everyone has the coordinating towel. So then we just pack them up and then everyone is in charge of their own stuff. They put their clothes to change into, sunglasses, whatever trinkets they have for the pool, the beach, whatever they're doing, they have their own bag. Um, I use this to keep my towel in in case it does get wet. And then I just keep it in my beach bag right here. This is like Mama Central. If you haven't seen me with my beach bag, Stay tuned because I will have this at the beach and the pool four or five of the days that we're there, which is like half the time. So there's Jason's towel bag as well. And then my sunscreen bag just tucks right there. This is the only other cube that I ended up having to use for my shorts, my pajama shorts 
and I think a dress or two because they just didn't fit. And normally I don't take that many dresses, but we have church and baptism and other things. So I needed to have multiple dresses. So that's why I had to go extra on that one. That is the main part of the bag. Then this is my makeup bag. I have shown this before, but in case you haven't seen it. All right, so this is my main makeup bag and I love this thing so much. It is so nice to have like all my stuff like readily available, not just storable. I like this one because I can just put my lotions and my scrunchies and my face wipes and deodorant, all of that kind of stuff. That's easy to get in and out of. But with my makeup, I like them to just like have the pockets to put back in and have the makeup right here. Then it just has these little pouches. I've actually taken out one of the pouches to fit all of those in there. But it's just easy to like coordinate all your makeup and anything else that we need to put in for getting ready. And then I also have a little pocket here for my makeup palettes. My little eyeshadow palettes fit right down in that pocket. And then this flap velcros over the top to keep your brushes clean. And then it zips up. And then I'm just going to stick it right here on the top of my suitcase. Super easy, super handy. And then my little makeup bag right there is just going to go into this side pocket I also have my flat iron and my brush down in this side pocket, so that's super easy. All right, so here's Chelsea and Ashley's bag, and Kaylee and Abby's bag will be the same way. So I just got all of Chelsea's clothes and underwear and t-shirts and shorts in one packing cube. And then this is her towel bag, and it has her towel cover and her swimsuit and her towel and her goggles. All of it is in that little cube. And then she also has a little bathroom bag right here with her brush. And then there's socks tucked down in here. And then inside this side is all of Ashley's stuff. She has her towel bag with her goggles and her sunglasses. You do need your toothbrush. Hi, yeah. let me just do this video really quick, okay? You're taking that in the car? Yeah. All right, well, welcome to our third, or our seventh guest in the car, okay? So then she has the other two packing cubes like the original ones that I have. She has her shorts, t-shirts, and pajamas in this one and some more shorts and her baptism outfit in that one, right? Yeah, I need to so I've, I've talked about how we're doing this a little bit differently. Instead of using suitcases, like we've done for every other Hawaiian trip, and even like going to Utah, we've always used regular suitcases. Now, the reason why we're using these um, fabric ones and like duffel bag ones is because it's really difficult to get hard case suitcases up into car toppers like luggage racks it's just really hard especially if you like pack it full like it can fit a lot of stuff um, especially our large one it can fit a ton of stuff but then it becomes like a 60 pound bag and to heft that up into a luggage rack is really really difficult and then it's really hard to fit stuff around a hard shell so we decided to go ahead and use soft shell bags when we can and then the other girls have their carry-on size suitcases that are smaller. Those fit, we just know our luggage rack, and they fit well on the ends of the two, like the two, the top and the bottom of the luggage rack. And then these will just stuff right inside the middle. It'll just fit better and it'll be easier to get it up and put it, like put it up and get it down. And we're doing that three times. Like we're going somewhere halfway through our trip and, and staying at a lake house. So it's just a lot of up and down and it'll be a lot easier to kind of lift these smaller bags and they don't have the extra weight of the plastic case to kind of heft up and down. So that's what we're doing. I've got our two bags here. These are all ready to go. Jason just has to come home and brush his teeth after work and then we will put all of this in the car and be ready to go. But let me show you the girls suitcases because they also have cubes and it's also an easy way for them to travel because you can just take the cubes and put it into a little drawer if you're going to like someone's house or a rental. And then all of this stuff is still in the cube and they can just grab a pair of shorts from one and grab a t-shirt from the other one. And then they can just zip it back up and put it in their suitcase. Let me just, I'll show you because it's so easy to pack with these cubes. All right, you guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this packing video. Again, it was very informal and I apologize for that, but it is hot in here and I just can't, I just can't handle 
doing anything formal. Look, I just have like, like I don't, I tell you when I'm being real, folks. I'm being real right now. I am so hot. Like, if I'm so glad I'm wearing a dress. I just got home from a funeral because I couldn't handle it even if I was even wearing shorts. Like, I can't even put my glasses on because they're just sliding right off my nose. So, I hope you enjoyed this packing video. If you have any questions about any of the products, I will try and link them down below. I don't know if the old packing cubes are still sold. I think they are, so I will link those as well as the two new ones that I got, the two compression ones. But if you have any questions about how we pack or how we travel or any of that kind of stuff, go ahead and leave a comment down below. You can also check out our Maui packing video because that one is way more in detail. I will link that one right here along with a playlist for our travel videos because traveling and doing road trip style is way different than getting on an airplane and going like at a, to a further destination. It just is. You just pack differently when you're doing a road trip. It just is, that's the reality of it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you'll come back for more and join us on vacation. This truly is gonna feel like a vacation. We're going to a vacation home, we're going to the lake, we're going to an amusement park. It's gonna be really fun. So stick around and come back and join us on vacation. Take care.